After that, we went to alternate curls, which is a basic exercise. It's, you know, you want big arms, you need to be doing alternate curls. What can I say? I mean, I went a little bit heavier than what I, what I do. I don't usually train biceps that heavy. Try, kind of trying to train them in a more moderate weight and keep my rep range in the 15s. Uh, went up to 60 pounds. I couldn't feel my arm by that time, and I just felt like I was moving the weight. But, you know, I didn't want to seem like a party, a party pooper, so I just kept, you know, <laughs> you know, I kept trying to hang in with them. But these guys are strong. You know, they were grabbing those 60s and making them look like they were 25. So, you know, it was a good workout. I can't guarantee how nice this set is gonna look, cause that's six power pounds, set, man. The power set, six, six. Uh, feels like I can't even lift these things up. Biceps are 25s, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not many guys get to train with somebody they looked up to as, you know, coming into the sport or just competing in a NPC show. Me and John looked up to Vic, you know, when we first got into this. And it's an honor that we was able to get mentored by him. And, you know, he um, helped us out a lot. And now we're pros with him and able to stand on stage next to him is an honor, you know. I mean, not many people, you know, could say that. And it's, it's awesome, you know, and us three, you know, we're like family, we help each other out, we're there for each other, so, you know, it's not about, a lot of people think, oh, you know, you guys are competing against each other, it's not about that, you know, we, we go give it our best and get on, you know, and give everybody a good show, and we wish each other the best. So after that, we went to uh, preacher curls, and you guys might notice that uh, my range of motion might be a little bit different than, than Juan's or Victor. They're, they're both taller than me, they have longer limbs. But also, I think um, the way my, my body's put together is a little bit different. The tension every time I do biceps seems to be on the lower part of my biceps. So as I explained to you guys uh, earlier in the video, um, I have to try and do like shorter movements to, to get a lot of blood in the upper part of my arm near my shoulder. Um, 
so that's why you see um, me doing my, my movement that way. Um, you know, it was a great finisher for, for me. Um, got a lot of blood in there, and uh, as you can see, um, we went pretty heavy on that as well. One more. Come on, now. Nice. Okay, just to end things up a little bit over here and not leave prematurely the arm workouts, I'd like to definitely fill it up with that extra blood flow and some good isolation. And uh, what better way to do it than with cables? As you notice, our movement over here emulates the uh, double bicep curl. Now, you can see us doing it. You gotta keep your elbows steady and just get that concentration pull right on your bicep and get that peak contraction right at the end. Again, it's gotta be total control from beginning to end. Um, many times, uh, you'll tend to kind of squeeze your shoulders in. See Juan, that's why I got in there. You know, Juan, Juan was doing it. Again, this, this is a very uh, basic movement when you kind of think, uh, that's why I told him to basically visualize the bicep double curl, um, bicep pose on stage. And that's basically what you want to emulate. And once you do that, you'll get the right feel, the right connection. And it's basically the icing on the cake. You know, great isolation, great ending. What better way to end a good arm workout? So, if you guys are wondering why I'm doing such short, short reps here, and you can't, probably we can't see as well in the video, but I'm very well developed down in the bottom part of my bicep down here, thick and full. Up here, very hard for me to get a pump. So when I do a shorter range of motion, up to the top of that motion, like just like there, keep pumping, I get a better pump. So, just trying to develop my arms a little bit better, so I bring a better package for the 2014 season. So, um, you know, they finished off with that. I finished off with what I was doing, and I started doing some pull down, um, kind of trying to emulate a, a pull up. Um, again, trying to get some extra blood into that part of the bicep. Um, so you'll see, I've kind of had to come up with my own ways of, of 
finishing off and, and getting some extra blood in there. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, first things uh, first, never last. Uh, definitely got to thank uh, Steve Blackman. Thank you for the great years you are giving us in, in bodybuilding and definitely uh, covering our shows. Um, your unlimited source of sponsorship, uh, just, you know, just being there, always for us and believing in us, even during our worst moments, and sticking by us and knowing that we will rise up, and we have. For this year coming, you'll see us rise up again and stronger. You know, MHP, thank you. you guys are the best. Gerard and uh, all the fans out there. You know, 2014, right around the corner. Let's do this. That's all she wrote. That's, that's all they wrote. Can't write shit right now. <laughs>